Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be showing you what I've picked up in, I guess, the last week. It's been a pretty productive week. Picked up a lot of shoes and I'll just be showing you what they are, what I'll be keeping and what I'll be letting go. So we'll start with the left side. Obviously, Jordan 1, can you guess which colorway it is? It is the Brotherhood. So this colorway is incredibly bold. I think it is actually a very nice summer shoot. However, I think it's a little bit too bold for me. However, I can see a lot of people pulling this off in summer. I think it's a really clean colorway. It just doesn't really suit the color palette that I wear pretty much every day, which is just creams. So I will have to be letting these go, but I might actually keep them for a while just to see if they go up in price, but I had to pick them up. Quality of leather on them, I actually think is all right. Seems very soft. So I think these will be a comfortable wear and a very nice daily for some people. So we'll stick to the left side and here I picked up the Yeezy 700 Static. Managed to get these off confirmed. I believe they are a size five and a half or six, so they're really small. Keeping these for the long run because I think these will go up in price unless they decide to restock them for the hundredth time, which I hope they don't. This is a really clean colorway. It came out a while ago. It seems like it's been out forever. Really nice colorway. Price used to be really high, but it's dropped. So if you want to pick up a pair now, I would, because these are very, very nice. They are similar to the cream version, but I think I prefer the static. I don't know, I'd have to see them side by side, but I think this one is the better version. May as well finish off the left side, as you can guess, Easy 500, pick this up from the confirmed app as well. It is the Yeezy 500 Blush. Once again, in another small size, just because I expect the price on these to rise. Colorway is very, very clean indeed. I think this is an amazing shoe for summer, especially for girls. That's why I picked it up in a small size. However, there are similar colorways out there. So if you can't get a really expensive version, I guess this might be higher than other colors. Just go for another one because they are incredibly similar. But Blush was the original one and it's probably my favorite of the lot. But yeah, really comfortable shoe. It has no boost in it, but the sole and insole are very, very comfy. So it kind of makes up for it. But yeah, easy. 500 blush really clean but probably still will be letting these go at some point so actually while filming this video this pair actually arrived at my door it is the nike vapor waffle in the black and gum colorway this pair is amazing i said this pair looks very chunky on foot but the black colorway version of it just makes it look a lot slimmer and sleeker I really do like these and these could be a daily wear for me. And a plus point, I got these for retail, so I can't really complain. So now we start on the right side, probably the more popular version of the shoe. However, this one is an old Sakai. So I picked this up from StockX recently because I have a comparison for it. So this is the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in the Villain Red colorway. I actually think this is probably the best colorway that drops from that pack. However, the more recent Sakais that have come out, I managed to pick up the black one and the cream more sale version and they're much nicer than this so i won't be keeping this it's only for a comparison video just to let you guys know what the difference is between a retail and fake and then i'll probably be letting this go because i just feel like it's a little bit too chunky on my feet and it just looks a little bit too wide and it just doesn't suit me in my opinion but let me know if you like this and what colorways you prefer now we're on to arguably my favorite two pickups of the week and maybe my favorite two pickups of the year yet so as you can see from my last pickup video i picked up new balance protection pack in the rain cloud colorway and now i've decided to pick it up in the phantom colorway all black new balance protection pack pick these up from StockX again so paid resale just before they actually restocked on size but really really this is going to be a daily wear for me i like these so much i think that is a really clean shoe they've grown on me so much and they're incredibly comfy and I actually have a fake version on the way, so I can't actually wear them until I do the comparison video. But after the comparison video, these will be worn into the ground because I love them. Let me know what you think of these. And finally, we come on to this pair. And this pair is a big one. So this pair is a pair I've been wanting in my collection for years, absolutely years. And can you guess which one it is? It is the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 1.0. My God, these are amazing. Probably one of the most iconic Jordan ones ever. And I'm so glad to finally have them in my collection. The quality of these is amazing. I'm just grateful to have these in my collection. That's all thanks to you guys. So this is a dead stock pair in my true to size UK nine. I managed to pick these up from an Australian reseller. It took so long to ship here, but 
can't really complain. I finally have them in my collection and I'm super happy about it. Just check out the colors and details on these shoes because they're so, so nice. So that is everything that I've picked up over the last week. Let me know in the comments down below, do you like the pickups? Which one you would you be keeping? Which one would you be letting go? And which is your favorite from the whole lot? But thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, helps the channel grow. And I hope you have a great day.